about least common multiple and this time we will be using factor tree method now let's try to move so again what do we mean by least common multiple actually i discussed this already with the previous video that i made so when we say least common multiple it is the smallest multiple of a group of numbers now let's try to find out the lcm of 10 and 8 using the factor tree method okay by using the factor tree method we can get the two factors of 10 we cannot use 1 times 10 because that will repeat the procedure so we can have 2 times 5 take note in factor tree method we are getting the prime factors of a number so 2 is a prime and 5 is also a prime so we can say that 10 is equal to 2 times 5 now how about 8 so when we say 8 uh, we can have two factors of 8 aside from 1 times 8 we can have 2 times 4 yes that's correct 2 is a prime 4 is not a prime so we need to break this down so 4 that would be 2 times 2 2 is a prime and 2 is another prime so we can as we can say that 8 the prime factors of 8 are 2 another 2 and another 2 okay now after getting the prime factors of the numbers all you need to do is to find out if there's any common prime factors so since there's a common prime factors there is a common prime factor that is 2 so all you need to do is to list that one here 2 then after that one whatever the common number you need to multiply that one with the remaining prime factors here that's it so that would be 2 the common times 2 times 2 times 5 so let's try to find out what's the answer 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 5 is 40 so we can say that the LCM of 10 and 8 is 40. That is the LCM of 10 and 8. Now let's try another example here. We can have 9 and 12. So the same procedure, all you need to do is to find two factors of 9 aside from 1 and itself. We can have 3 times 3. Okay. 3 is a prime and 3 also is a prime so we can have 9 is equal to 3 times 3 now how about 12 let's have this one so 12 that could be 3 times 4 3 is a prime but 4 is not a prime so we need to break this down so that will be 2 times 2 okay so 2 is a prime and 2 here is also a prime so we can say that 12 the prime factors are 2 times 2 times 3 okay now let's try to check is there any common yes there is and that number is 3 so the common prime factor of 9 and 12 is 3 so all you need to do is to copy that here then after that one you have to multiply that 3 by the remaining numbers 3 times 2 times 2 times another one which is 3 so let's try to have this one 3 times 2 is 6 times 2 is 12 am I right 3 times 2 is 6 times 2 is 12 times 3 is 36 so therefore the LCM or the least common multiple of 9 and 12 is 36 okay that's it now let's try another example and we can have it um, I will try to change this one I will not use 15 because I want to prove something okay for a while I want to change this one with uh, 30 okay so instead of 15 I used 30 now let's try to find out the prime factors of 30 okay so we can have 
3 times 10. So 3 is a prime, 10 is not, so we need to break this down. So we can have 10, the two factors of 10, 2 times 5. Okay, 2 is a prime, 5 is also a prime. So we can say that 10, uh, sorry, we can say that 30, 30, the prime factors are 2 times 3 times 5. Take note to write the numbers in ascending order. Now we can have number 20 here. So the two factors of 20 are 2 times 10. Yes, 2 is a prime. Now let's have, how about 10? That is not a prime, so we need to break this down. We can have 2 times 5. That's it. Okay, so the prime factors of 20 are 2 times 2 times 5. Now let's try to check. Are there any common numbers? Yes, there are. The common numbers are 2 and... Oh, what happened? 2 and... What happened to this? Okay, there's something wrong. Okay, 2 and 5. So the common numbers of... Th the prime common numbers... The common prime numbers of 30 and 20 are 2 and 5. So you have to multiply that 2 times 5. These are the common. And after getting the common, you need to multiply that also with the remaining numbers. And that will be 2 and 3. Okay, so we can have 2 times 5 is 10, times 2 is 20, times 3 is 60. So therefore, the LCM of 30 and 20 is 60. That's it. Okay, so I hope you learned something for today on how you are going to get the LCM of the two numbers using the factor tree method. So I thank you for listening everyone. Have a nice day and God bless.